So Austin, you think we beat the rain? Yep. But we gotta get to the shelter. Yeah, we can. Because the rain is coming. Yeah. It's only raining a little bit right now. Yeah. So, but this is gonna be cool. You're gonna get to see the shelter for the first time. Yeah. Which is gonna be pretty fun. Yeah. So listen guys, Austin and I are out. We're headed to my shelter. We're gonna do some home improvements. Yeah. We're gonna get some lunch. Yeah. And then after that, we're Maybe gonna go do some right fishing. Now. Maybe you what? Hungry. You're hungry right now? Yeah. Alright, well we'll get to the shelter first and then we'll think about cooking some food, alright? So we're gonna get over here, like I said, do some upgrades to the shelter. And then after that, we're gonna go fishing. So alright, quick, let's keep moving. To the shelter. Yeah, you need to run. Get in there right now. Careful, careful, careful. Watch your step. Watch your step. Get in the shelter right now. Move, move, move. Okay. Quick. Go, go, go. Here, quick. Get in there. Get in. Move, move, move. So one advantage to um, having a shelter is having it stocked with dry wood. Because right now, it'd be a real pain in the ass because it's pouring rain out. And um, yeah, it would just it would just be a pain, right? But uh, I got dry wood, so it's all good. All right, so this is a great opportunity to show you guys my new Schrade knife. I picked this up off of Amazon just recently for about forty dollars. Seems pretty solid. I played around with a little bit at the house. Now we're gonna use it to chop some wood. tomahawk with me which I literally have not used like out in the field so yeah the trade works well for splitting wood this is gonna work a do lot better right do it right now yeah. all right let's see do that one. Yeah, let me do this one right here no yes no do that one do this one okay. yeah all right fine Be hot. hold on Kind of hard to get to stand up on its own. Yeah. Oh, uh -huh. yeah. No, that yeah, pretty good. That one, that Do it one. again. Yeah. All right, hold on. Wait. It's a little tough to split because I really wasn't planning on splitting these, but That's sure. Hot. That hot? Yeah, yeah, it's not, it's not super easy. But it's not one to stay up by itself. Look at that. Whoa, again. Again. Yeah, so we'll get some good red cedar going here as well. Get ourselves a nice bed of coals.
hot dog guy. You love hot dogs? I want these guys too. Whoa, what I else? I want these. Oh yeah, we got some granola bars too. Cool, but let's go ahead and cook the hot yeah. dogs first, okay? Mm -hmm. And me and baby wants to eat them right now. You want to eat them right now? Yeah. <laughs> All right guys, so you see, I'm not even really waiting for it to burn all the way down to coals. There's really no need to. These are gonna, I mean, they're pre-cooked, so all I'm doing is just, you know, just heating them up, and that's about it. So, you know, nothing nothing super fancy to it, but my man wanted some hot dogs for his first trip out here, so we're gonna eat those, and then hopefully, by the time we're done with dinner and we've cleaned up, or sorry, with brunch, and we've cleaned up, the rain will have subsided. I don't know, we'll see, but anyways, Whatever the case is, we're gonna go ahead, eat, and then there's some um, knots in the wood on this bed that I'm sitting in that I want to trim off with my um, tomahawk. And then after that, we're gonna go fish. Yeah! 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 All right, so the hot dogs are done. I purposely did not bring any utensils with me because I wanted to go ahead and put them on a stick. Put on chips. They've been not dead. <laughs> there we go. Hot dog on a stick. Oh, me eat that. Have a big bite. That hot. It's hot. All right. Well, then make sure you blow on it. <laughs> Good stuff? Yeah. Cool. Yummy. Yummy? She saying that I'm not eating that part. Oh no. <laughs> well, I don't want to buy on that part. Why? I cut myself. You now. <laughs> oh, I don't. I want to be fun. I mean, I want to play it. Oh yeah. So right before we pack up and hit the road, I just want to give you guys a quick peek at the uh, Trade again that's the sheath for it and you know when you pay less than forty dollars for a knife don't expect to get a good sheath and to be quite honest with you you know it is what it is most time people who are serious about knives are, are going to replace the sheath anyway so stay tuned I'll probably have a um, review up on YouTube for this in the near future and um, definitely a blog post so anyways we're about to pack up this operation and hit the road what excuse me Whoa, don't pour it on yourself. Pour it on the fire. There you go. Nice. I mean, I've had a few people on YouTube say, Oh my God, your shelter's not going to survive. Your shelter's not going to survive. I mean, I don't know, but... <laughs> it's looking pretty good to me. So anyway, the shelter is here. It's still looking good. No, no sort of actual damage to it at all. Hey guys. <laughs> no, I say hi. Say hi. Hi. What's your name? Austin. Austin? Yeah. All right, cool. That's mini me. So we got the roof fixed. I got to adjust things a little bit here. And then we'll do, I guess I'm going to do some upgrades on the bed. Up there. So stay tuned.
So I went ahead and filled in all the gaps that had bothered me last time. Got rid of that knot, which was, trust me, it's very annoying in the middle of the night trying to roll over and get comfortable. Next time I come out and spend the night, get out here a little early, harvest some more evergreens and fill in the rest of the bed. But for now, we're short on time. We still gotta go fishing. And Austin, I think you, did you wanna try to catch some fish or no? Yeah. You did? Okay, cool. All right, so we got our, uh, we still got our live bait over there. So we're gonna head say down. Hi. Say, hi. say hi. hi. And then we're gonna head out to the lake, do a little fishing, yeah, and then we're friend. done. What, are they your friends? I don't know. Is Hopefully it? so. There's lots hey, of people yeah, yeah. to be friends with. Hey, what? We're over here to the fishing hole. What? What happened? You fell. That's why you gotta watch your step. Gets a little dangerous out here. There's a rock right there, but remember when you step on a rock, it's slippery and you don't want to fall in. All right guys, so we're out here, made it to our spot, and I just want to show you, give you guys a quick look at, this is um, basically a Chinese knockoff of the pocket fishing rod. And it seems to be pretty solid so far. Now, I've had this out a couple times, I haven't caught any fish, it's just been more of a learning experience because I don't know much about fishing. But um, this is the third time out, so, we're gonna see what we can do. We got, like I showed you guys, got some night crawlers here. I'm gonna string these guys up, bait the hook, and uh, see what we can get going before the rain really kicks off and causes us some more. It's just, I guess it's just gonna rain all day today, which is fine, but um, when my little man over here doesn't have proper rain gear, not so good. So, let's get this show on the road. Oh, yeah. I meant to go that way. Went that way. But hey. I never claimed to be an expert at anything. And in, in, and in my opinion, nobody's really an expert. I think we always, always have room to learn. You might be really knowledgeable about a specific subject, yeah. but there's always room to learn and to improve. So, the only way you're going to do that. And of course, guys, I'll be sure to post up the link to this. You know, you can get the Pocket Fisherman, the, you know, the real, original version, or this one. The price difference isn't that much. And um, what I really like about this is um, the reel and everything is obviously fully enclosed inside here. You know, the body's completely sealed. So that's a, um, that's a huge benefit in my book. I don't know, you hear that rain, Austin? Yeah. Ah, that sound too good. I don't know, man. I tell you what, I want to try some artificial grub on here, okay? So I got my fishing kit here. Just threw a whole bunch of stuff in here. And you know, it's just gonna take a matter of time and experience figuring out what I use on a regular basis. You know, I got this um, fish scale from Alpha Outpost. You guys saw that before. Got a whole assortment of hooks and sinkers from Alpha Outpost from that box. But what I'm but what I'm really interested in here is these artificial grubs right here. So we're gonna go ahead, put these on, and uh, see if we can't uh, have, have a little bit better luck. Alright, so we got our grubs here. There's one Pacific one I'm interested in there. Oh yeah, oh you got it? Cool. So Austin has a fish scale out just in case we get lucky, which I doubt. So there's one. Just like regular maggot right there. But the one I'm interested in. I got what? Oh nice. I can get him out of here. Is this guy right here. I want to string this one on the hook, right? And you see how it's got this little tail thingy going on right here, whatever that's Maybe, called? Yeah. See? Maybe it's a see. fake grub. It's Let not me real. Hold that. Okay, hold on a second. Here look. You wanna hold it? Yeah. Hold it. There you go. See? And so watch this. <laughs> so what I want to do. And I want to get this guy on my hook, but there's a specific way I want to do it. And I think, if I recall correctly, we run the hook through the top, like this. And then, 
as we bring the grub on, we go ahead and we turn the hook out. Like that, yeah, so let's check that out. Can you guys see that? I'm gonna adjust my focus a little bit. So you see how I got that there? So the hook's out, this guy's nice and loose, and we'll hopefully attract some fish. All right, Austin, we're gonna have to pack it up and head out, okay, bud? Yeah. It's getting ready to start raining, like seriously. So listen, guys, thanks for watching. We're gonna have to cut this short. It's getting ready to just open up and just dump on us. So um, hit me up in the comments, tell me what you think. Um, definitely about um, baiting the hook, you know? I think I pretty much got a good concept of it, and I bet that if I stayed out here for long enough at a good spot, I could definitely catch some fish. So thanks for the support, guys, and uh, stay tuned for the next video. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye.